Nah, nah I will say real chill. quick, I'm going to get chill. right back into Wale versus Meek. I ran into the... I, I've seen people joke on Meek Mill over the years about him bunny hopping. Yeah. I never knew what the reference was to that. Oh, really? I hey, see, not, you, see, you saw the video, right? I saw the video of him losing the bet to the billionaires. Mm -hmm. yep. And the billionaires is like, yeah, boy, keep going. You never saw You that. fucking bunny hops is trash. I never saw that, that shit. That was fucking crazy. What the fuck? He just hopping for billionaires. Anyway, so yes, uh, as you probably know, there was a ton of events centered around WrestleMania this weekend. And um, Dean. Dean is an individual who was a part of the Dream Chasers umbrella. For those of us coming up that really fucked with Meek, when we came up, we knew his inner circle being uh, P-Mon, Tot, Coon Philly, uh, Dean. And uh, as of recently, Meek and Dean had a falling out. And Meek and Cruz. Yeah, Cruz. That's his engineer. That's yeah. Him. I'm just talking about the- like the, No, I know. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to highlight <laughs> the Shout fact that Meek seems to be falling out. With yeah. a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. I saw a clip about... That's it. Yeah, I did I just I did wanted to highlight that. that. That's I it. Shout out to Cruz. Cruz be fucking with niggas. Yeah, so Cruz getting work. Cruz, yeah, Cruz yeah, getting yeah, yeah. work. Shout out to Cruz. But uh, yeah, Dean was a close affiliate and associate of Meek, and he was a dream chaser. Uh, as a matter of fact, he grew up with Meek, right? And he actually recently did an interview with Academics, which uh, <laughs> he kind of just got into his relationship with Meek and why the basis of their falling out. So... The reason why I'm giving you all of this back up, this backstory is because Meek saw a picture of Wale and Dean together at WrestleMania weekend in Philly. Granted, it wasn't at Wale's concert, and mm -hmm. Wale did not post the picture. Dean posted the picture. Mm -hmm. I think these are important things to highlight before we get into it. And uh, as soon as he saw that, let me read the tweet really quickly. I hope while you pull that tweet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meek Mill is the complete opposite of J. Cole. I'm what listening. I mean by that yeah. is J. Cole has the self-awareness to mm -hmm. where he's not going to crash out. Right. Meek Mill is <laughs> crashing out e in real Yo, time. Every time I, like I was like, it cannot get worse. He posts another uh, tweet. I'm like, holy shit. You want to know why I like it? <laughs> I, like, I like when people crash out because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you just like, laugh at. Yeah, like to see niggas crash out. I be sitting there with the, oh my gosh, so interesting. This is great. I would Is that never... why you guys like watching <laughs> academics? Yo, OD. Yeah, OD. That, might, OD. that might add to it. Because you guys told me like he be crashing Yo, out. Yes, my, yes, yes, that yes. nigga be crashing. <laughs> Out. But the difference what? between the academics and the Meek is like, what? it's almost like Meek doesn't have any self awareness. <laughs> it's like, how did you make it this far in rap? I love his run on sentences on Twitter. Nah, I just be hurting my brain. <laughs> it a little makes bit. me believe. <laughs> Don't say it. Nah, 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 nah. All right, back to Wale's comments <laughs> around Meek. Uh, he quotes tweets the picture and says, Wale never liked me, dot, dot, dot. Now I'm going to treat him like the streets every time I see him. I gave him a thousand chances. These guys be thinking they linking with the enemy. Again, this is his grammar, not mine. <laughs> uh, clown ass nigga. I wish I would have knew the other day I would have stretched you. Not what you want to say when yes. you're caught up in the freak offs. Wow, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just... He can't even get the freak offs out of his head. <laughs> He's just thinking about stretching shit. Like, shit. What the fuck, nigga? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's no self awareness. There's so many things so many you could have said besides stretching. Yeah. But yeah. what I will say about this whole Meek Mill thing, like, the thing with Meek is, it's like, who's in your camp? Mm. Who are your people? Her to, niggas. I, was I said this here. I said this here before. Yes, nah, niggas. He bro. doesn't have any more he's, friends, bro. He said, "No, I don't my, know." My fault. My fault. Not. not mm -hmm. I think the key ones aren't really there. Well, maybe the ones he started with might not be there, but he said it on his rant with Wale. He doesn't have a publicist. Yeah, I want you to think of a hood he nigga. Get one. He should. He should. I just want to give y'all perspective, right? Think of a hood nigga up maybe thirty to 40, 50 m's and literally moving around on his say so. You know, the rest of these people, like, they got their team. They give them the schedule, right? Yeah, this is what you're going to do today. This is going to do this. We're going to do that. Meek probably just wakes up, knows what he has to do, what he's agreed to, whatever. Mm -hmm. However, he's agreed to it and just does everything on his own while he elects people probably from the hood to do some of these tasks and jobs. I'm going to be honest. It yeah. feels like, yeah. and I don't know, mm -hmm. and I love Philly, honestly. Like, I go to Philly maybe once or twice a year. Philly's great. I got a lot of people I know in Philly, um, but- the way that Meek comes off is almost like J. Cole has opened the door for me to question everything and everybody. Oh no, for real, legit. Like mm -hmm. J. Cole was cosplaying, and that's cool. 
Mm-hmm. Jay like Cole, seeing him like that, you were like, whoa. Yeah, it, like, it just damn. made me have to like really open my third eye. So now I'm looking at <laughs> Meek Mill. Yeah. Everybody. And I'm like, oh, you wasn't really a gangster. Like mm. you wasn't really like that. And that's okay. That's okay. That's, that's fucked saying. up. That's fine. Yeah. I don't I, I I don't know. I didn't grow up in Philly. You just saying off his movements? Off his movements. Yeah. Off of the things that he says, off of the mm. lack of self awareness. Anybody that I've known to mm-hmm. really be like that or have any remnants of being like that has a ultra super hyper yeah. kind of self awareness to where they don't put themselves in compromising positions. And I think when Meek Mill gets on Twitter and Instagram and he's shooting a gun mm-hmm. and he's making vague threats to people while right? pushing prison reform when he's alluding to threats while pushing prison reform <laughs> and talking about i'm a billionaire and i want to clean up the it streets confuses like you. It, confuses it confuses me you. but yeah. i also think it confuses him because i yeah. don't think he is playing the character that he actually is but playing the character that he thinks he needs to be yeah yeah i, I completely agree like he's with in the that. middle of figuring himself out especially with wale right i knew there was beef before this picture y'all remember the project meek and ross put out yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Recently, okay. It wasn't that good. Right. Hit, was, hit a, was, yeah, hit a mess. It, had, yeah. it has a few songs, a song. but I feel you. No, it had a few year, songs year, I like. Right? No, that, that shit was ass. No, I mean, personally, it had a two, three songs I like. You feel Out me? Out of but, 12. <laughs> <laughs> like, two, three songs I like. It was cool, right? Okay. And I ran some at my job. That was cool. It was an elevator together. But Who, you and me? Yeah, and Ross. <laughs> One thing that stood out to me on that project was that Wale is featured on the project, but he is not on the same song. As, as both Rick Ross and Meek. He's only on with Rick Ross? Exactly. Oh. That stood out to me like a sore thumb. I was like, hmm. wait, I what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, what? what? This is like a MMG sort of reunion. Like, you guys, you mm-hmm. two linked up. Y'all, y'all putting out music again. I'm excited. I see Wale was featured on the track list before the album came out. Then when I get to this song, ain't no motherfucking Meek on here. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, bro. Y'all niggas is really playing in my face, which stuck out to me because this would be the perfect opportunity for the three y'all to link up, hit a three-man weave again, and get it popping. Mm-hmm. As far as the picture goes for me, Wale, we spoke about it earlier, right? Probably street adjacent, right? Mm-hmm. Probably really excited about his event for WrestleMania weekend, et cetera. And when Dean sat down with academics, he told academics, like, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, yo. Like, a lot of the stories you heard me talk about in raps and rhymes and shit, those is about me. Mm-hmm. Those is about me. This is how I'm caught. So, and he also talked about how he knew, like, Wale knew he was gangster too. So, Dean, Dean was uh, Meek's muse? Not muse, but like, we could say. Muse like, is crazy. We could say That's muscle. Crazy. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's you. <laughs> That's <laughs> actually <nuts>. mad funny. <laughs> I was, just, yeah. trying to, I was just, I was just trying to call back from. Uh, no, I, I know. Yeah, that was yeah, good. No, I liked no, that. No, I liked yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, Dean was his muse. <laughs> but he also said that Wale knows he gangster. So, now, let me set this, this, this scenario real quick. Imagine being out at a club somewhere, right? And a nigga that you know put in work who's who you think to be cool or maybe not cool with somebody who doesn't like you asks for a picture. Mm-hmm. What the fuck you think the nigga was gonna do? Think you thought you was just gonna boss up like, nah, man, gonna front. You fuck with a nigga that don't fuck with me. So I can't take no pick with you. But I saw some shit where Wale yeah. even responded to it where he said, look. And this rap shit, a lot of times people that beef with each other that's personal, they mend it. So I stay out of it. Right. And I think 50 said this a few years ago when it was, I want to say, it was Birdman and Lil Wayne. Uh, Somebody had asked him how he felt about it. Whose side is he on? Yeah. And 50 was like, yo, that's family. That's internal. At the end of the day, everybody who's choosing sides... At some point, they're gonna have to face the opposite side of who they chose. Yeah. Meaning, if you rode for Lil Wayne at that time, you're gonna have to look at Birdman when Lil Wayne and Birdman Going reconcile. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh-huh. so I'm not gonna pick a side. Yeah. Because I understand <laughs> exactly. these niggas are family. It's yes. like if me and my well, man are going through some shit. Like, yeah. all right, yeah, nigga, that's me and my man. Mm-hmm. Now, if you saying fuck me mm-hmm. while me and my man is going through something, when me and him mm-hmm. make up. You're going to remember that. I got to remember you said, fuck me. Now I see what you're saying. fuck you for life. I see what you're saying. So yeah. while they said, look, whatever they going through, that got nothing to do with me. Like, yeah, that's him and that's him, but I'm not going to shun him. Right. And again, if, if Wale is not a street nigga, but he's in Philly and he's approached by some street dudes who he may be cordial with, 
He's not gonna like claim Meek Mill. Like, first of all, Meek, like, Meek, 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 Meek. The Meek. fuck is he talking about? Like, Meek Mill, you what? have to learn how to tweet. <laughs> nah, I actually like his shit. We've literally <laughs> had this conversation before where he did some other crazy shit on Twitter. And I remember Pierre saying, like, yo, typing just is not his forte. Yeah, that's, that's not his medium. Like, <laughs> that's not the medium he should be using. Like, he's just bad at tweeting. That's why he rap. <laughs> now, like, you know how, 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 who was it? Mark Zuckerberg, the nigga from Facebook? Facebook, yeah. You know how they took Lil <laughs> Boosie's Instagram? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 Meta. Elon needs to take this <laughs> Meek's Twitter, Twitter account away from him. <laughs> like, somebody needs to just pull it. And, Elon like, loves have this shit. Just him log, log, log him like, out. It's, it, like, yeah, he doesn't do himself any services by it. Yeah, Elon gonna keep it up, though. They got, like, hour-long pornos on Twitter now. Holy shit. You seen that? I seen it across the, the timeline. Yeah, how you, how you, what you think? It's in his hmm? bookmarks. No, what you think of that? Hmm? Like what, when hmm? you seen this shit? Hmm? You saved it? You seen? No, I'm asking. Hmm? I don't watch hard. porn no more. I told you. You saw? No, I tell you every week. No, but no, because you said you get, every week. How long was the shit though? Hmm? Whoa, huh? way up. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, you said the. What? Let's talk about the length of the video. <laughs> the length, the length uh, of what? Talk about uh, this meat conversation. Nigga, got the length <laughs> of in, the in rare form. Bro. These niggas in rare oh, form. Geez. Oh shit! <laughs> niggas talk about meat. They start talking about length. <laughs> you see them nigga? Calm down, bro. bro the length Relax. of the video that you, I, the I, porno I, that I, you saw. I, 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 you just said you saw it. It was on my my shit. <laughs> you know when you be scrolling and that it be this hard. Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, help. <sighs> I didn't even know they were showing. I thought they took all the porn off of X. Nah, if anything, it's the Wild Wild West over there. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah? X. Because they got rid of all the restrictions Oh, and you shit. be seeing that shit too, Reggie? <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> when, they, when the switch up happened. Oh. Yes. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's pray for Wale and Meek, though, man. 